The Curlewis Golf Club has secured its water future. This is the Alcoa Point Henry complex just out of Geelong. I'm here at Clonard College where the girls are getting right into the closing the gap. Program. Welcome back to News Geelong as we move into the world of sport. And again we turn our attention to Geelong and District Footy League and their grand final action for 2014. It was a great match. Bell Post Hill taking on North Geelong. We pick up plays seven minutes into the third quarter as Bell Post Hill start to exert the pressure. I have so to get him now, uh, yeah. Ball back in the middle of the ground and Bell Post Hill showing there is strong ascendancy in this early part of the third quarter. Again, Rickett up over the top, knocks the ball to the half forward line. It's going to be a race in two here. McNamara is going to lead Fitzsimmons to the ball. Kept it in front of himself, but Fitzsimmons doesn't let him have it easily. Runs to the boundary line and the ball will run over and it will be thrown back in. <coughs> I'll be trying to put Parker back again, I think, just for five or ten. Jared Bryant swap him over because he can kick goals too. So the ball thrown back in, half forward line. In front, ball tapped down. Fitzsimmons working through the contest, picks up, goes on the left boot, into the half forward line. Parker, oh, one-handed grab, feeds to Hardman. Hardman goes towards goal. Sammy oh! Clark! Sammy Clark! He got hold of his doctor there, he's not going to let him go. That was a great grab. I thought it was actually going to travel over the top and go through, but... Uh, Sam Clark has made sure that he's got the ball in his hand. Stevie J around the corner. Sam Clark, he kicks the goal. And North Geelong have one back. They need to get the next, but that's two for Sam Clark and the sixth for North Geelong. 6-8. They move to 44. 9-7-61. Bell post tilt. Six minutes gone. Third quarter. Well, I said before the game, I've been a little bit disappointed in him since he came into the GDFL, but we always knew that he could do these things. And maybe... Just maybe he might stand up and do a few more before we're through here today. That one had to take from Luke Park was pretty handy too, at pace. And the handball. So yeah, well, I'll tell you what, if they get up <coughs> here, Luke Park is right in the chances again. Oh, he's got no hope. <laughs> no hope at all. He could kick six goals from here and he wouldn't win it. If he kicks six goals from here, he's got it. I'll tell you that now. <laughs> Pull up. Back in the middle. Rickett gets it down to Hardman. Left foot kick around the corner to half forward. Limer. <laughs> Norm Smith written all over it. Runs across half back. Goes towards centre wing. McLeod. He might have to share it with him. He takes it on centre wing. He uh, must have a disease. Nobody will run with him. The sergeant takes the mark. He kicks it back in board to him. Plays on quickly. Switches the play back towards Lentini. Doesn't sit for him. Fitzy to come the other way. You keep the eye on that. those two having a crack. Paul Popper giving one too. Lentini goes with a kick towards the pocket. And Tari can't take it with him. Schwenis in there as well. And it will be a boundary throw in 30 around for the bell post till goal. So boundary throw in. Rickett up against Wood. Get it to the front. Again roved by Bell Post Hill. Basely kicks it around the corner, but he misses through for one behind. They go to 9-8-62, Bell Post Hill. Lead North Geelong, 6-8-44. The Grandy Cycling Sport third quarter scoreboard. Eight minutes played. Kane Swenison doing the kicking in from the fullback position as Taylor Reynolds has short. Kick didn't hit him. It's put pressure on him now. He picked the ball up. He went back to Swenison. The handball was good. Swenison long out of defence towards centre wing. Whitney up. Oh. And in that position, he was never going to put that ball down. Darcy Eels did everything right. Unfortunately, Whitney has the ball, goes in quickly. Justin Tarr comes out. Good use of the football and a good lead and strong mark from Justin Tarr. So he's going to have an opportunity now to kick another goal. Well, I reckon you can start putting Dylan Whitney up there too. <laughs> he's been, his first quarter wasn't good, but he's been sensational ever since. So Justin Tarr has a kick from about 30 metres out. Not a difficult angle from this side of the ground. Right foot up. Scoreboard side. Comes in now. Chips towards goal. Nice looking kick. Umpire does not move. Justin Tarr has his third goal of the afternoon. And the tenth now for Bell Post Hill. 10 8 68 4, 6 8 44. North Geelong. We've gone nine minutes. Third quarter to Granny Slogan Sports. Third quarter scoreboard. Well, he's kicked a couple, Tari, but he, his last one, which he probably should have kicked, he didn't kick. So the pressure was right on him then. Because when you start missing them, the, the, you put pressure on yourself. So he went back, the pressure on him, and never missed a beat. And he was up to the task. And that puts Bell Post Hill out to probably the biggest lead we've ever seen between these two in the last year or so. So back to the middle, 24 the difference. Going nice in this third turn, the Panthers. DeSanto having a run in the ruck now against Addy. Addy gets it down, tapped on, only as far as Heath gets the handball to Hardman. 
Goes towards half forward again. Hutchinson takes the mark at half forward. Plays on under pressure from Zulix. Runs around on the right foot. Goes towards the 10 metre. Oh, mm. Popovsky. He put himself oh, under pressure. 50. Oh, and he's played 50. on too. He was going. He umpire, played on. umpire hadn't called play on. That's oh, the mistake. The Nach. What are you doing, Nachos? Well, he hadn't called play on. So Popov. Oh, oh, it's another oh, one. Jeez, come no. on. Stop <laughs> mucking around. Popovsky plays on now from centre half back to Sano. Half volley. Pick it up, son. Does now handball to Briggy. Here we go. Briggy takes a bounce. 50 out. Measures a pass. Should have kicked oh, the goal. Should have had a ping. Popovsky takes the mark again. Settles down. Gets it out towards Lentini. Doesn't sit for him at the first. They go, oh, great tackle, Bryant. Page is there. Handball to Fursland. Handball back to Welve. Oh, terrible kick off the boot. Out of bounds right in front of our commentary position. Great game between Bellpost Hill and North Geelong. Now let's take a look at the all-important weather. We've seen all four seasons during the past week here in Geelong. Let's look at what lies ahead. Tomorrow, Saturday, a mostly sunny day with northerly winds and a top of 27. And watch out for that UV alert and slip, slop, slap, particularly without feeling a cricket tomorrow. Sunday continues with sunny conditions and a top of 26. On Monday, becoming cloudy with a top of 20. On Tuesday, it's midweek pennant bowls, round four. Mostly sunny, so it'll be a great day for bowling on the rinks. And then on Wednesday, it's Geelong Cup Day. Mostly sunny morning, slight chance of a shower and most likely later in the day. So we'll get it after the mighty Geelong Cup out there at Geelong Racing Club. We'll have a top of 27 on Wednesday. So it'll be nice and bright for the uh, fashions on the field. Today, well, cloud developing with southerly winds. We reach the top of 18 degrees around one o'clock this afternoon. And that's the weather outlook for Geelong and surrounding districts over the coming days. And let's hope it's a great day. Next Wednesday, Geelong Cup Day, we'll be out there. And uh, as our mayor would probably say, giddy up Geelong. Thanks for being with us on News Geelong this evening. Hope you enjoyed the program. Look forward to your company again next Friday night for another News Geelong program. To our old Irish friend, Patrick Finbar Murphy. Good to see you, Patty. And remember... Take your time and smell the flowers. From the team at News Geelong, you have a very pleasant weekend. Stay safe, and until next Friday night, a very good night.